So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use one microbit to control another microbit that's connected to a Katronic motor driver board. And if you haven't watched it, I'd go back and look at the last video I did that just shows you generally how to work that board. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up your make code editor. And then the first thing we want to set is we want to set a radio group between the two different microbits so that they um that they're both communicating on the same in the sa on the same level so it just means that our our remote control will only communicate with this if there's a couple of people using them in the room so you're going to set a radio group you can set it at one or if there's other people using this in the room and you think it might interfere with their signals you could change it to any other number you have for that's going to happen forever now we're going to put the same code into the one that we're sending the signal from and we're also going to send the same code from the one we're receiving the uh, that's receiving the signal as well so we can delete the on start one actually in fact we can just take something out we'll put some sort of an image in that so let's see We'll just show a heart when the whole thing starts up and then we'll know our program is downloaded. The next thing we want to do is we want to go into our radio control and we want to send, actually we can look at our inputs. So what we're the way we're going to control this is we're going to have it so that um, when we press button A on the controller, this is going to turn only and this is going to stay off. So it'll turn from left to left to right. And then when button B is pressed, this one's going to turn and this will turn off and it'll turn that direction. And then we're going to make the two of them move forwards together. And for that, we're just going to press button A and B and that'll turn both motors on. And then we're also going to want to stop it too. So we're going to add in a shake command for that. Now you can vary this and you could do it for, you could look at all the different options. They'll be in with the shake command. You can make it so that if you tilt the thing right, it'll turn right and if you tilt it left it'll turn left but just to keep the thing simple for now we'll just work with the buttons so when button a is pressed we're going to send a number so radio send number zero and we'll say we're going to send number one and what's going to happen is our receiver is going to take the number one and then it's going to perform a set of actions that we're going to program so it'll in this case it will turn off one motor and turn turn the other one on so also along with that we will put in a i oh, might have got the might have the directions wrong here but i'll put in an arrow anyways so we'll say for this one it's going to turn left and then for when button b is pressed we can actually just copy and paste this so control and c zoom out as well so you can see all of that so control and c and then control and b and we'll copy that so we're going to need one two three four different commands so one two three four and then we can just modify these now you can just drag and drop everything out again and set it up like i said the first one but this will speed you up a little bit so see button b is pressed it'll go this direction And we'll send, this time we'll send the radio number two. For this one then, we're going to select A and B. And on this, it's going to just stop. So might actually just delete that off. And we'll put in one of our pre-made pre icons. And we'll put, say for this one, we'll put a correct sign. For this one, we'll actually say that this it, button A and B will make it go. So that's going to send radio number three and then we're going to take our last one and i'll actually have to delete that because we're going to use a different type of command we've ran out of all our buttons pressed so we're going to take this one here copy this control and c and then control and b to paste put that in there and then we'll say to stop we're just going to put in an x 
Now for this one, we're going to put it in on shake. So you're going to shake the thing and it'll stop. You can change that to low uh, if you turn the thing upside down or you could tilt it left or you could tilt it right to control it. So the more things, say if you want to put reverse movement on this, you might want to have it so you can push it forward to make it go forwards and then you could tilt it backwards will make the two motors reverse. But just to keep things simple, we're just going to stick with left, right, go and then stop. So shake, it's going to send the number four. So these are all our commands for the, our sending remote. We're going to copy all of this to both of them because it doesn't make a difference. We can use the both. We can use the same program for both. But the sending remote is only going to use these ones. So that's the one that we're using as our remote control. Then we're going to go back into our receiving. If you go into um, so back into radio, and you're going to say on radio received number so when it receives a certain number we wanted to we wanted to operate our motors then you go down into your logic here drag this one over and then you're going to go back into logic again take this comparison box drop it into where it says true and we're going to say if something if we take a received number drag it in there now we're going to say if our receive number is equal to one, it's going to perform a set of commands. So in this case here, now the next thing you also need to do is we need to add our extension. So our mic uh, motor driver board. And I've explained how to do that in the last video as well. So click into that there. You can see our extension is over here on the side. And that's the ones to operate specifically that board there that it's working with. So we'll say that motor one will go direction forward with a speed of 100. And we're going to copy and paste that, control and C, and then control and V it up here now there is an option for motor turn off motor one and last time i did this um it was a while ago but that didn't work uh, so what i did instead is you can say motor motor two is going to go forward but with a speed of a zero so that's essentially just turning off the motor it's doing the same thing then what we're going to do is we're going to click control and copy control and v and we'll do that out one, two, three, four different times. And we'll put in a different, uh, we'll change our commands for everyone. So control and V then to copy that. Like I said before, all of this can stuff can be done manually from over here, but just by copying and pasting it, we're gonna we're gonna speed things up a little bit for ourselves, make it a bit easier. So drag up this one then. Then we're going to say when received number one, it's going to turn the motor one, which I'm not sure exactly which one I have it in here, but I think that should be this motor. That'll turn off and this will turn, this will turn on and this will turn off, turning at one direction. Uh, if you wanted, you could also just change this to maybe 50% speed. So it would do more of a gradual turn than a really, than a sharp turn in the way I have it there. Anyways, for our second one, when it receives number two, we're going to change these around. So this is going to go down to zero, and then this is going to go up to 100. And on receive number three, which is, let me see, look over here. So when receive number three, we're going to get um we're going to turn the two of them so three is when a and b are pressed we're going to make the two of them go forward with a speed of 100 and then the final one when it shakes we want it to turn off and something so we'll turn that down to zero you can see both motors are going to go off at that point something i probably should have put in here would be control c i probably should have copied these symbols over so i'll put this on this one so this will just show up on the car as well so that's our let so when we press 
when this is turning left, it'll actually signal left on this. Now, I don't know if the arrows will line up or not, but if they're not lining up, you can just change the direction of them. So that's that arrow, control and C again, control and V. We'll throw that into our second command, and then we can throw our stop icon, control and C, control V, down to here. And then we can do our correct mark as well. Control and C, Control V. And we'll put that down. So let's just go through our commands. One is going to turn left. It's going to turn on one motor, turn off the other. Two, it's going to turn right, turn off the first. It's going to be the opposite motors. They're going to turn on and off. And then the last one is going to be turn both motors on. And then there, so your number three will be turn both motors on. And then number four would be turn both motors off. Now we can download that. Click our save icon. Connect up our, first of all, our controller micro bit. Up with here, and we should see a heart when all this downloads onto it. So right click, show in folder. And we just drag it over into our micro bit. Wait for it to load up. Then, because the same program is going into both of them, and you can see from here that we've got our heart symbol which we had up on the on start command. So that just shows us the program's been downloaded. We can plug it out. Then take our cable, plug it into our car. One into the top and we'll just download the same program in again. Now I have this downloaded already so I can click back into show and folder and I can just drag it into that second micro bit. So now you should see, I'll make this bigger so you can have a look at it. You can see that we've got our heart symbol in the front here. You've got our heart symbol here. You've got our X symbol there. I think that's just because I'm after shaking the thing and stopping it. But we can try and start controlling it now. So we're gonna press the button B. You can see it turns on just that motor on its own, or that's button, yeah, button B. And you can see our arrow is pointing out that direction there. It's actually pointing the right direction from when you're looking at it from the back end of that model. And then if we press button A, you can see it's going to swap that direction. And it's going to turn this motor instead. Let's give a shape to this. It's going to stop both motors. And then we press a and B together and both motors are going to go at the same time.